All right, we are gonna get started. I'm gonna go ahead and spotlight my video really fast, but I'm still gonna be watching you guys. We are gonna start off with 10 jumping jacks, just to warm up a little bit. So go ahead and 10 jumping jacks, go. Awesome. Now, right, it's kind of hard, but like summer, you can maybe go all the way across your mat. Raymond, maybe you can go all the way across maybe your patio. I think that's where you are. But we're going to bear walk. So super straight legs, super straight arms, and our butt in the air. And we're going to bear walk forwards. I'm going to bear walk past my mat. And then bear walk backwards. Okay, I want you to do so you'll go down, that's one, up and down, two, up and down, three. I awesome. We just started warm up, no worries. I'm Coach Lexi. We are now gonna skip. So what whatever space we have, we're gonna do it three times. So I got a yoga mat, maybe you have a mat. We're gonna skip and try to point our toes when we skip. And if we can, we're gonna skip backwards. And we're gonna do that three times, so we'll go again. Kind of like a dance move. All right, now we're going to do 10 straddle jumps. So they don't have to be big, but they can be really small, but our hands go on our hips, feet come apart, they come together. You guys have 10 of them. All right, go ahead and go. 10 straddle jumps. So feet apart, feet together. Nice. I can't do straddle jumps in my room because I live on the top floor. So we're gonna do our 10 and I'm gonna stand here. Nice. Ooh, good. All right. When we feel like we did 10, we're going to move on. We're going to step and kick. So we take a step and then we kick. But when we kick, our leg is straight and our toe is pointed. Then we'll step down and we'll kick. And we'll go backwards. So we'll take a step backwards and we'll kick backwards. Try to keep our chest up. So back, backwards, kick, step, kick, step. Go ahead and do like five or six steps. So I'll step and kick, pointed toe, step and kick, pointed toe. Then I'll step backwards and I'll kick backwards. This one's hard. You really gotta squeeze your legs to make sure your legs stay straight. Awesome. Sweet. I think everyone finished. Good. All right, we're gonna do something called a uh, rabbit run. So our legs come together, our feet in our knees. Our hands are gonna come to the ground. They're gonna stay flat and we're gonna reach out and bring our feet to our hands. If you can, you can try going backwards, which is kind of hard. So try to do this three times. And then hand, bring feet to your hands. Do it one or two more times, Raymond. Awesome. Did everyone finish that one? I think so. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a seat and we're gonna stretch. So we can sit down. We're gonna start with our pike stretch. So right, our legs are straight. Our toes are pointed and our knees are touching the ground. Nice. Uh-oh, I think Raymond got frozen. We're gonna reach for our toes, but if we only can reach our ankles, that is okay. If we can, our nose will go right where our knees are. I can't do that, but I'm gonna try my best. 
And we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna get up. Now we're gonna um, point and flex our toes. So right, this is a point and our flexor when our toes are facing the ceiling. So we're gonna do 20 of these. So we go point and flex, point and flex. We point and flex a lot. In gymnastics, we like to point our toes. One big one is when we do our cartwheel, our toes actually should be pointing as we kick our legs over our head. I have five more and then I'm done. Make sure we're pointing and flexing. Really squeeze with your point. Nice. All right. We're gonna go into our straddle now. All right, the part. Our knees should be flat, our legs should be straight, and we're gonna point our toes again. We're gonna go ahead and reach for one side. If we can reach our ankles, that's great. We can put our nose to our knee even better. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go to the other side. Remember to keep your toes pointed so you're squeezing your legs. We're gonna go ahead and do another 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna go down the middle. Some of you guys probably have done pancake before. And we can do pancake where we get like our face to the ground. That's great. If we can't, we're just gonna reach as far out as possible without letting our legs get bendy. Okay, no bendy knees and pointed toes. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. We're gonna go ahead and warm up our wrists. So our wrists will come out, our hands will come out in front of us. We're gonna do some circles. Nice. Go both ways. And the other way. Nice, awesome. Now we're gonna do our butterfly. Feet come together. We try to get our heels as close to our belly button as possible. This is as far as I can go. We are going to bring our ear down to our knee and we're going to try to make sure our butt doesn't come off the ground. So no booty off the ground. We're going to hold it for 10 seconds. No booty off the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to the other side. Remember, your butt shouldn't come off the ground. That's the hard part. All right, other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we'll bring our nose down to our toes or as close as we can. Okay, whatever we can do, we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We'll come up. Okay, we are gonna practice a bridge. Okay, if we can't bridge with our head touching the ground, then we're gonna do a table, right? So this is a table, okay? If we can bridge, right, our hands will come down and we'll bridge up. Okay, we're gonna hold it on our own. I want you to count to 10. Go ahead and hold your bridge for 10 seconds. If we can, our legs will come together. Nice. And when you're done with your 10 seconds, we're gonna rock and roll. 
right? So we tuck our knees and we rock and roll. We want to stay rounded. We're going to do 10 rock and rolls. When you're done with your rock and rolls, you're going to do 10 more seconds of your bridge. Awesome. If you finish your rock and rolls, do one more bridge for 10 seconds. Uh-oh, Raymond, I lost ya. And then 10 rock and rolls just to finish it off, or five, let's do five. Five rock and rolls. Awesome. Sweet. All right. We're going to move on to some stuff that's going to help us on the floor. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is a donkey kick. When we donkey kick, something that's really important, okay, is that when I put my hands down, I want to keep my ears in between my arms. So my arms, my head, okay? I don't want to stick my head out and look like this. I want my head in between my arms. And if we can, our feet will be together and we'll donkey kick. Okay, we don't want to fall over, so we don't want to do really big donkey kicks until we're ready. So I want you to do a few small donkey kicks. And if we feel like it's safe, we're going to kick a little bit harder. I'm going to get a pillow so I can demonstrate. Okay, so hands and donkey kick. Okay, go ahead and I want you to do 10 donkey kicks. Nice, try to stick your ears in. Nice. Summer, don't forget about your ears. Ooh, you okay? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do two more. Okay, so remember, I wanna see this. Our hands, I like to place my hands down first, then stick my head in bring my feet together, and then I donkey kick. Okay, that way I know that my head is right in between my arms. Okay, two more really good donkey kicks. Nice, awesome. Okay, I see you got a carpet, she's got some mats. We're gonna do a candlestick roll. Thumbs up if you've ever done a candlestick roll before. Awesome, okay. We are gonna try to roll and then stand up. We're gonna do this 10 times, okay? So we'll roll, I'm gonna use my pillow, All right, feet together. We're gonna roll back, roll up, Okay, if we can stand up, we'll stand up all the way. Go ahead and do 10 candlestick rolls. Ooh, that was awesome. Oh, you guys are pros at this. Try to keep our legs together if we can. Nice. These are awesome candlesticks. Okay. We're gonna move on to some leaps. Okay, a leap is kind of like a jump. It's a little bit different. What I like to think about when I leap is that I'm gonna take a step, then I'm gonna kick, and then I'm gonna leap. Okay, that's a really slow one. So I take a step, I kick and I leap. And if I do it a little bit bigger, I should land on one foot. Okay, do we think we understand that? Thumbs up if we understand. Awesome, we are gonna practice 10 leaps, okay? You can get really big if you wanna get a big leap, but we still wanna land on one leg. Go ahead and do 10. 
10 leaps. Yep, there you go. Remember, step, kick, leap. Try to land on one foot if we can. Take a step. So we step, the other leg is going to kick, and then we leap. Okay, there you go. So step, kick, leap. So you switch your feet in the middle of the air. If you want a challenge, try it on your probably not so good side. So try it on your other leg. So you're gonna step with the other leg, kick, then leap. Don't forget to step. And if we have something we can leap over, sometimes that can help us as well. So I have, let's see, I have a stuffy. Okay, I can leap over it right here. Gonna step, kick over, leap. Okay, if there's something we can go over, maybe a pillow. So step, oh, remember, right, uh, Summer, step and then kick with the other leg. So not the leg you step down on. Yep, now kick. Yeah, there you go, very good. So remember, yep, yeah, there you go. This one's hard, you step and then you kick with the other leg and then use that leg to leap and land on. Awesome, do we feel like we did enough leaps? Thumbs up if we feel we're good about our leaps, awesome. Oh, okay, now this is where we get to do some cartwheel for a little bit. We need to make sure we have enough room with our cartwheel, right? Some of us, we can cartwheel right over ourselves some of us, we cartwheel a little to the side, so we have to make sure there's room, because we don't want to kick ourselves. I want us to try to cartwheel for about a minute, okay? If we can, we're gonna have pointed toes and we squeeze our leg as it goes over. If we know how to do a cartwheel, we can go ahead, but I am gonna demonstrate one as well. So, I'm gonna put my foot out. The same hand, as the same side as my foot right now is right. There you go. I go hand, oops, I don't want to kick my thing. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Oops. I have enough room. Go ahead and keep doing our cartwheels. Ooh. Try to start in a lunge if we can't. All right, ladies, and maybe Raymond, if he's still there. We start in a lunge, and then we'll cartwheel. All right, you guys got about 20 seconds. Keep going. 20 more seconds of cartwheels. Nice. Remember, in a cartwheel, it's, it's funny. It's gonna be your hand, your hand, then your foot, then your foot. Awesome, you guys got 10 seconds to do maybe one or two more cartwheels. Awesome. All right, ladies, we can relax. Good cartwheeling. We're going to move on to move on to something to help us with our beam. Okay, it's okay that we don't have a beam. I don't have a beam. We're going to pretend like we're on a line or we're on the beam. It is okay. What we're going to do is that we are going to work on a coupe, a passe, and a releve. These are three things we should be able to do on the beam. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is a coupe. 
When we do a coupe, this is funny, you're gonna balance on one foot, your other foot with a pointed toe is gonna be right next to your ankle. This is a coupe. We're gonna try to hold it. Oh, Raymond's backed. So go ahead, everyone, get up onto one foot and your coupe. So it's right next to your ankle. And I'm gonna show you this way as well. We don't have our leg out like a tree. I say this is a tree. We have our knee facing forward. Ooh, ooh. Awesome, we'll go ahead and switch. Other side. Oops, by your ankle. You're gonna hold it. Nice, so that is a coupe. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a passe. I remember the difference because a passe looks more like a P. So now we're gonna balance on one foot. Our other foot is gonna go next to our knee, but we don't put our foot on our knee. We put it right next to our knee, just like we did our ankle. And we try to hold it and it should make like a P. Nice. And remember to point our toe when we do our passes and coupes. Awesome. All right, we're going to switch. Other leg. Same thing. Our toe right next to our knee. Remember, we're not going to the side. We're going straight forwards. Nice, nice. And my trick about balance is to look at something that's not moving. So you might not want to look at me or someone else on the screen. You might want to look at the ground or the ceiling or the wall. Nice. We'll go ahead and shake it up. Now we're going to do a releve. So a releve is like a tippy toe. So we go up onto the balls of our feet and we hold. Our knees should be locked. This one's kind of hard to tell. So if I walked, right, you can tell I'm on my tippy toes. We're gonna go and just hold a releve. Our heels shouldn't be on the ground. They should be up as high as we can hold them. Make sure our knees are straight and we're squeezing our legs. Looking at something that's not moving. Awesome, go ahead and relax. Check out your legs. Ooh, that one can be hard. We are gonna try to hold our coupe in a releve. Okay, that sounds a little bit silly, but remember our coupe is our ankle, our toe next to our ankle, and we're gonna go up and then come back down. Okay, and you'll switch. You're gonna do five on each foot. So you start in a coupe, tone your, your ankle, releve, and then come back down. Okay, and then switch legs. So coupe, releve, come back down. Remember our coupe is next to our ankle. So we're just gonna coupe, releve, come back down. Make sure we do about five of these on each leg. And our goal is to show that we can be in control. Okay, so it's about going kind of slow if we can. Nice. All right, if we're ready, we're gonna move on and try to do a passe in a releve. So, all right, our passe is our P, so we're gonna go toe next to our ankle, sorry, toe next to our knee, and then we're gonna releve and passe. See if you can hold your releve for like two seconds. And go ahead and switch between leg. So you're going to go ahead and do a passe and a releve and come back down. This is gonna be, help us to learn how to turn on the beam. If we can do a releve and a passe, we'll learn how to turn. Awesome. Nice. I like. There you go. Awesome, Raymond. Now we're going to do some kicks. Okay, this this will be our last thing. 
So when we kick, what we're going to do is we're going to have our hands to the side. Something we like to call side middle in gymnastics. We're going to start with our right leg. We're going to have our pointed toe. We did this in warm up, but we're going to go kick up, kick to the side, and kick back. Okay, remember our toe should be pointed and our leg should be squeezing. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds on just our right leg. So try to keep our side middle if we can. Don't forget our side middle, our hands should be out. Nice, forwards, side, back. Forwards, side, back. Forwards, side, back. Don't forget to point your toes. Don't forget your side middle over there. So remember, forwards, nice side, and back. All right, now you're gonna switch to the other leg. So arms up inside middle, try to keep it the whole time. You go forwards, side, and back. Nice. Go ahead and keep going. We have about 15 seconds left here. Forwards, side, and back. Summer, don't forget about your arms. That's the hard part sometimes. And don't forget to squeeze your leg with a pointed toe. That's what our leg should look like when we are doing our kicks. So kick, 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 kick. All right, guys. We are now gonna end with a little bit of conditioning. Okay, two movements that we're gonna do that we might know how to do. Our first one is a burpee. Okay, so a burpee is we come down, our chest touches the ground, we come back up, and we jump. That's one burpee. We're gonna do 10 of them. All right, go ahead and go. 10 burpees. Down and back up. Nice, Raymond's right to it. You guys are good at these. Nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, I could say. When we're done with our 10 burpees, we're gonna sit down. We're gonna do 10 sit-ups. Okay, sometimes sit-ups can be hard if no one's holding our ankles. So if we want, we can either sit all the way up or with our hands, we'll try to touch our heels. You have 10 of these. Okay, try your best. 10 sit-ups. Ooh, that's right, to it. 10 sit-ups, try to sit all the way up or touch the backs of your heels with your hands. Nice. Sweet. All right, guys. Before we go, because we're all done now, if you'd like to share, so you gotta unmute yourself if you want to. If you wanna share your favorite part about class. So why don't we start with Summer? It looks like she's gonna unmute herself. Go ahead, Summer. Cartwheel. Cartwheels, that one's fun. Raymond, do you wanna say what you enjoyed doing? Yeah, my, per my favorite part was the sit-ups. The sit-ups, you were really fast at the sit-ups and also the burpees, it was awesome. Oh, we lost our other friend, that's okay. Wonder what her favorite thing was. We won't know, that's okay. My favorite part is that you guys came today and we are all done, you guys are good to go. Good job today. Bye. Thank you.